how does it feel to be back there in that building? Man, it feels great uh, to come back home to a place where I started eight years of my career. Kind of had the little, you know, mix up, but, uh, you know, uh, my time in Baltimore was great. And then, you know, Houston gave me opportunity, but that all brought me back here. So it comes full circle. I'm happy to be back with my guys, happy to be back in this organization, happy to be back in the city. When I think of the Saints, I think Sean Payton dancing in the locker room, bringing in all that money, all that cash yeah. that we, yeah. what is it like without him? Man, you know, Sean is, uh, you know, irreplaceable, you know what I mean? But the good thing about people who are great leaders, you know, and winners is they kind of leave a, a footprint, they kind of leave a DNA, they kind of leave uh, a culture, you know, behind. And the uh, best thing to do was to hire a DA. I mean, he is, he, he knows what this culture is, he knows what the DNA is. You know, I think keeping it in-house, keeping the um, things normal, keeping things similar, you know, we're all still know each other, we're all still accustomed to each other. So we're just picking it up, keeping it moving, trying to get better. We know we yeah. got a team that can do special things. So what is the culture of the Saints in 2022? Man, we just we some we some fighters, man. Uh we believe in each other. Um, you know, it's little I, you know, big team. And um, you know, everyone has to just do their job to the best of their ability, make your plays when your number's called. And we love each other, we care about each other, we gonna have each other's back. And we ain't, we ain't quitting, we ain't giving up. We, we, we trying to be champions. So um, that's our mindset day in and day out um, in our preparation and in our, in, in our focus. And, um, you know, we just have a great belief in each other here, man. So uh, we're going to have fun when we win. We was able to, you know, crank the locker room up, have the cell. Tell me. Yeah, yeah, we was able to crank the locker room up with the music and the lights and the smoke and had a celia and, uh, and uh, ATL. So, um, you know, we took over ATL, man. We just trying to do it one day at a time. You know what I mean? Is, so, is Dennis Allen dancing? Hey, man, we all in there. And, you know, and we all thriving for those moments. So, you know what I mean? We all enjoy those moments. We don't take those moments for granted. So we plan on doing those celebrations many, 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 many more times this year. You've been in this game a long time now, and you still want to win. You still want to thrive. You like, What motivates you at this point? Uh, I just want to be the best, man. I still feel like I play this game at the highest level. I'm given the right opportunities in the right situation. So, um, yeah, I still I want to win a Super Bowl. I want to uh, do a lot of those things, man. Yeah. Still got personal, Still got personal goals. So um, still a lot of things driving me, man. My kids, my family, my wife, my, my parents, my sisters, like everyone. You know, I got a lot of people who love me, care about me, believe in me. Talk to me about this wide receiver room because it went from zero to 100 very fast. Real quick, real, real quick. Real quick. Yeah, Tell zero to 100, me. real quick. The wide receiver room is definitely one of the best in the league, man. I mean, we got those guys over there. I mean, you talk about Mike Thomas. Last time he played a full season was uh, offensive player of the year. Um, you got Chris Olave. Man, young, smooth, man. He, he's, he's cold, man. He's he's cold with it. I'm telling you, he's gonna be one of those guys to watch for a long time. Then you got Juice Landry. I, I mean, love her. I mean, that's just the name speaks for itself. He bring that juice. I got the J U Ice with me. You know what I mean? So, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what's it like working with Jameis Winston every day? Man, J Boo is that guy. You know what I mean? Sorry, what is it? That, uh, J Boo. J Boo. Yeah. Yeah, J Boo wins. You know, that's his, yeah, that's his, that's his handle on IG, Instagram, uh, on, yeah, all that. J Boo wins. But um, he's the man, bro. And like, what you guys see and think, like, you know, it's funny. Like, he's dead serious, man. He's super authentic. He's super genuine. Uh, he's very smart, man. And he's one of those guys that you want to fight for, man, because he cares about his teammate, his preparation, his work, and his skill set, man. He has the full package. Um, being a leader, both you know, in the huddle being encouraging to teammates, man. He's one of those guys, man, that you uh, want to go to battle with for sure. We have been friends for years now. You yeah. have to get him to stop the, the fingers in the mouth thing. Hey, yeah. man, that's Jay Boo. That's authentic. No, no, no. As a person, no, that's disgusting. Like, you have like, <laughs> well, what's the fingers I, in the mouth? Well, first what, of all, it's, what, first of all, it's crazy. Dub? He does this thing, whatever it is, the dub. With the dub, the E and the W? I, stop, Mark. The E and the W? But he does it like after a game when he's touching turf and spit and like God knows what else happens out on the field. And then he's putting his hands in his mouth. He eating that W. Ah. Is this the best group of personalities in the NFL? The best man, I, personality. Man, I'm telling you, like, we got a whole bunch of alpha dogs on our team. Like, everyone's their own person. Uh, they're genuine. They're true. They're authentic to who they are. When you have that, you got guys that mesh like that especially with the personalities we had, like you said, I mean, like 
you just got some great dudes, some, some, some special characters, some one of ones on this team. And uh, I think it resonates through the whole team, through the entire organization. And that's why I think our team is special. That's different than most. You know what I mean? It's just the camaraderie, the love, the belief and uh, that we have in each other. I know, you know, you're close to them. You got to see him up close and personal. What should happen with Lamar Jackson and the Ravens? Man, what should happen with Lamar, ja with Lamar Jackson is the man needs to get paid. Okay. You need to pay my dog. You need to pay my dog. Big trust, you feel me? In the flesh, Lamar Jack, MVP. Now, I'd just like to introduce y'all to the man, the myth, the legend, the MVP front runner. If anybody else got to say something different about that, then come see me. Yeah. I'm right here in Beemore outside the bank. If you got an issue with that, come see me. Wolfie. I'm about that. Wolfie. Big trust. Wolfie. Woo woo. Lamar Jackson <laughs> in the flesh. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Big <laughs> trust. <laughs> no, hey, I'm with you, I'm with you. Man needs to get paid. Um, he just went out there week one and just dialed it up, you know, throwing the ball, running the ball, typical Lamar Jack fashion. But um, yeah, man, he gets he deserves whatever he's asking for. He deserves the world, man. He's a hard worker, he's a great leader, and he's just a different type of guy, man. Uh playing quarterback, man. He can throw the ball, he can run it. He won that huh? game against the Jets. He, he won the game against the Jets and then he went to an elementary school and was talking to kids about what they want to be when they grow up. Like he's, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know. How can you not love this about. guy? If you don't yeah. like Lamar Jackson, you're truly a hater. You know what I mean? Like, so I, I be hearing all this Lamar Jackson slander. I just don't understand it. Like, I just don't understand it. You know what I, I mean? I think it's because he's one of one. He exactly. gets put to a, you know, we see what quarterbacks are and then Lamar is sort of his own category. But I like that, but I also don't think that at all because I, you know, my take on him is that every year I've seen him grow as a deep ball passer. I've seen him grow in reading defenses. It's everything you want out of a quarterback. And so he should be treated and paid like the Josh Allens and the homes of the world. He just should. 1000% I'm with you, Kay. That's why you do, that's why you real. Yeah, it's I, it's insane. But I mean, are you worried about him? Like with what he's doing? Like, do you think like, no. a player, you know, he's doing, I don't like that he's doing it by himself, right? And I know he's got his yeah. mom and like, I just want to protect him. I don't want a Dak, you know, Dak Prescott injury that's going to derail what it, he should be right. paid. Like, listen, listen, like, yeah, he has a number. And if they would have gave him a contract or a number he was happy with, he would have signed it. If you don't have a contract that doesn't give you the value or the comfort that you're looking for, if you don't sign it, you bet on yourself. Yeah. And so that's what happened. And that's what he's doing. And now um, we all pray and that he goes through this season healthy, um, getting wins, except for versus the Saints. And um, you know what I mean? And he's passing it, he's willing, he's dealing it, and he just breaks the bank. We're going to do everything. Like, we'll even let him get to the Super Bowl, but versus the Saints in the Super Bowl, he can lose. <laughs> the, I'm a baller first, man. I'm out here toting this rock. We're trying to get ready for Sunday against the Bucks. Big game coming up. And, um, you know, oh, but you got to stay, you got to stay versatile. You got to stay tuned up. And um, when they told me Kate had a little show that she was doing, I mean, it's only right that I jump on with my girl. You're the best. You're honestly the yeah. best. I need the sweatshirt. Big trust. Saints. Alpha dogs. I learned a lot. And you're, I don't, I don't, I'm not. Don't eat the W's. That's all I ask. Yeah. Hey, I'm trust level. Nice cookies. Y'all, hey, wherever y'all get y'all podcast, you know what I mean? Trust level. Me and my boy Cam Jordan. You're the best.